so what all did we see, Mark? Well, you spotted a seal, a couple seals, a porpoise, and an eagle, and Mark spotted nothing. <laughs> videos be sure to hit the like button subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content look at how the clouds are completely covering the mountain right now that is so cool after leaving Fort Washington early in the morning we drove to Ana Cortez Ferry Terminal Ana Cortez Ferry Terminal is about one hour 25 minutes north of Seattle information regarding the ticket prices and times can be found online and it's a little more expensive if you have a vehicle versus if you're just a passenger where are we going San Juan Island <laughs> who's excited me well excited about the ferry ride it's our first ferry ride where we are taking a car we've been waiting in line for two hours and we are ready to get on this ferry and get there so you can get on the ferry but if you have a car which we do have the rental then it might be probably they might not have a spot spot for you so we wanted to get here in time make sure that we did have a spot so that's why we have been here for two hours and now we're finally getting on the ferry I am floating out to sea Time will take it all from me Don't know where the wind will take me now But we'll see But we'll see And after a one hour boat ride, we are here. I am searching and So we had Lime Kiln State Park at Friday Harbor and we're about to go see some whales. Don't know where this road will take me now, but we'll They just look like a little, like a dog. Just like they're sticking their head out of water. And we saw an eagle, which was unexpected. And it had a fish And too. it had, yeah, it was carrying. Yeah. It was just like right above our head. So it was pretty cool. We haven't seen any orcas yet, and but we hope that tomorrow on our whale tour, we see some. But apparently this is supposed to be the place to spot an orca. So if you ever hear Lime Kiln State Park, this is probably gonna be your best bet. Now we have to go up the coast a little bit so we can try to fly the drone and get some cool shots of the coastline. You can't fly it in the state park itself. So we try to abide by all the rules. So we are in beautiful Palindabal Lavender Farm and we wanted to see some blooms and hopefully pick lavender, but unfortunately it is not the season yet. So the peak bloom season is during July and August. There's still some lavender and you're you know, welcome to visit any time during the year. But the store hours, I guess, like 9.30 a.m. to 5.36, something like that. And you can visit over here. You can pick lavender during season. You can go to the store and get the goods made out of lavender. So it's pretty cool. Um, there are different variety of lavenders over here. And it tells you on the bottom of the row which kind it is. There are some that are dark purple. I didn't even know they were white lavender. So... I don't know if this reaches purple later, but so far, these are white in color.
eating dangerous crab tarts. This looks delicious. Look at that. After eating the best burger I've legitimately ever had in my life, I mean seriously, it was a Wagyu burger. And the Dungeness Crab Tots, which were amazing. We enjoyed the view from the harbor for the evening before getting up and exploring the rest of the island the next day. Alright, so our first stop of the day is the Cattle Point Lighthouse. It's on the southern tip of San Juan Island. The drive here was beautiful and it's by the American settlement that uh, we'll be talking about later in the day. But anyway, the drive here is real pretty. You pull off the road, there's a trail that takes you maybe 10 minutes to walk to get you to the lighthouse, and it's a pretty walk, but uh, the views are absolutely incredible. on the edge it's a pretty cool little hike that's a long way down oh Lord. so i know you can't see it probably but on top of the lighthouse there's a bald eagle sitting there oh my god these birds are so majestic so we just saw a bald eagle sitting on top of the lighthouse <laughs> and we got the camera just in time as the bald eagle took off flying. It was just epic. It was so awesome. Okay, we haven't seen it in wild ever. Well, I haven't seen it in wild ever. And this was just awesome. Seeing that bird up close, it, it's huge. All right, so that's it for Cattle Point Lighthouse. The next stop is going to be the American Settlement. All right, so we are here at the American Settlement. And the cool thing about the American Settlement is in the 1800s, there was a treaty signed between Great Britain and the United States. And it was real ambiguous over like which part of the San Juan Islands were owned by which country. So there was kind of like a territory line drawn down the middle of San Juan Island. And the British camp was to the north and US had a camp to the south. And they actually went to war because a pig from the British camp crossed over to the US camp and someone from the US shot it and that sparked like this whole big conflict between the two countries and the US had to actually send reinforcement troops to help settle it and you know now it's owned by the United States but that's a pretty cool little history here and that's Rodica <laughs> uh, we don't have a whole lot of time for our whale tour so we're trying to get around and see as much as we can and she is literally jogging down there to try to get some photos and to see it real quick so you know the important thing when we go on vacation we like taking photos and videos so we remember but also we like to enjoy it so anyway we're trying to see as much as we can on this island it's a lot bigger than we thought She's trying to open the door. <laughs> She's got to touch everything. <laughs> but anyway, this is pretty neat. It's small, but you know, there used to be a lot more to it, but the view that these guys had here was incredible. This is how it used to look. So this was Officer's Row, which if you look there, those two buildings. It's only those two. Yep. And had a guardhouse, schoolhouse, orderly room. Hospital. Yeah, hospital back there. 
carpenter shop, cookhouse. They had like a whole little village set up here or a whole little camp, I guess. But anyway, it's pretty much empty now except for the two houses that were on Officer's Row. Still a pretty cool thing to go see. It's a piece of history. Some tea. All right, so that's it for the American side. It's pretty simple over here. We've heard the British side is more beautiful, but uh, we're gonna go check it out. We heard it's got a garden. Yeah. And uh, Radhika has been telling me that we're gonna get some tea and crumpets if we go over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true anymore, but it's gonna be fun. I've heard the British side is like a little bit nicer, so we'll see. We'll see you there. After reading all the stories about the pig and then driving all the way from the American camp up here, which is like 25 minutes, I have no idea how a pig made it that far. So that's pretty awesome. And not only that, but how the heck did the British find out that the Americans actually killed the pig? Who knows? Check this place out. This is just the trail going to the camp, the British camp. So the American camp wasn't as impressive at all. And actually the road signs too, the road was labeled much better for the British camp than for the American camp. For the American camp actually, we couldn't even find the road and we basically decided to look at the map and realize that there's an American camp road. So we went on that road, it was a dirt road and we found the camp. Not only did the Britishers have a pretty view of the ocean over here, they also had a beautiful garden to walk around. All right, so we walked around the British camp for a while. Who, uh, which camp would you rather be at? I hate to say it, British camp. Yeah, me too, the British camp was pretty cool. The US camp was awesome too, but this is gorgeous on this side. So while we were driving around the island, on the east side of the island, kind of the center east side, there is a San Juan vineyard. So we're gonna go try some wine from San Juan. We're excited. Vineyard's probably the most relaxing thing we've done so far on this trip. Yeah, definitely. On this island. Oh my God, this island is so beautiful and just absolutely, we did not expect this. No, there's much more to do than we anticipated. And honestly, I wish we had another two or three days here. Yeah. So the San Juan Vineyard has some pretty cool little areas. There's a little chapel there, which is pretty cool. Radek and I actually got married in a chapel, so we love those things. There's the tasting room over there in the distance. This is like an office area. And then they have this outdoor seating area here, which kind of provides a little protection from the sun. It's really relaxing and you get to overlook. Right over here are the fields of grapes that they grow here. and. Uh, some of the wine that they produce is made from the grapes they grow right here on the island. So while you're driving around San Juan, it's pretty cool to visit the Crystal Acres alpaca farm. Mm -hmm. And Radhika was curious what the difference between a llama and an alpaca is, and they actually have something inside that told her, what's the difference? Well, the llama will spit at you, but the alpaca are sweet and cuddly. Also, the alpaca over here, they shear them, and the goods that they make are with their alpaca that they shear. So the alpacas we'll be seeing today, they just recently got sheared last Thursday, so they are skinny, but otherwise they are like teddy bears. Oh, another cute thing, at the store, they have the wool that they got from these alpacas, and they have the picture of the alpaca on the wool to show which alpaca they got that wool from. That was pretty cute. The 
they also told us that the boys are in here and the girls are over there by the way and this guy came close to say hey my new friend mm -hmm. running away from me All right, so the whale boat just left. We're out on our orca tour, and hopefully we see some whales, but my God, is it windy. And we can tell that this wind's gonna get cooler at night, so it's already, the breeze is getting cooler, but yeah, it's gonna be cold later. Yeah, this is the sunset tour, so we're gonna be out until the sun sets, and when the sun drops around here, it gets very cold, so. But the sea is beautiful, the sky is amazing, and we hope we see some pretty orcas. If not, it's just a pretty boat ride. there's a pot of orcas that's headed for Canada now and because of COVID you can't cross international water which makes perfect sense so they're headed to Canada we can't go to Canada so the captain is trying to get there as fast as possible so that we can see them before they skip across the border so yeah, he, he said that the orcas a couple miles from Canada border so we're trying to get there before they pass so hopefully we make it and we see some so fingers here we crossed. go yeah fingers crossed I am floating Small pot of whales, and because of the regulations, we can't get within 200 yards of them, which is like a long way away. But right there is the Canadian border, and they're headed toward the Canadian border, so we cannot go across the border because of COVID. And we're on the border. The whales have crossed over into Canada. That's it. There are the whales over there. Hello. Close my